Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. I just wanted to show you a little comparison of uh, the Moto X on the right and the iPhone 5S on the left and their Google Now experiences uh, that are both activated via uh, your voice. Now the Moto X will actually activate even if the screen is off, whereas the iPhone 5S requires that the uh, Google Now application be started. But nearly the same command works with both. And I'll run a couple's tests here and just kind of show you live testing of, uh, of the status and, and, uh, and the functionality between the two devices. Okay, Google Now. How tall is the Empire State Building? The Empire State Building is 1,454 feet tall. The Empire State Building is 1,454 feet tall. Okay, Google Now. How far to the moon? The moon is 238,900 miles from Earth. Now, one thing to note is I, I have both devices on Wi-Fi only on airplane mode so that a cellular signal on one isn't overtaking the other. So let me try that again since it looked like the Moto X was looking for the Wi-Fi there. Okay, Google Now. How are the Seattle Seahawks doing? The Seahawks are first in the NFC West standings. The Seahawks are first in the NFC West standings. Okay, Google now. What are the latest scores in the NFL? Okay, Google now. What is pi? Pi, the sixteenth letter of the Greek alphabet pi, the sixteenth letter of the Greek P. alphabet pi, pi, transliterated as P. Okay, Google now. What movies opened this weekend? Movies playing in Puyallup on Friday. Movies playing in Puyallup on Friday. Okay, Google now. What is five thousand multiplied by three hundred and twenty five? The answer is 1,625,000. The answer is 1,625,000. So as you can see regularly, the iPhone 5S beats the Moto X, even though it's an Android device with Google now integrated into it.